All right, we are here at Water Mission Headquarters showing you how to put together a demo unit for your regional walks with the, friend, with the help of our lovely volunteer, David McClure. So first steps, when you get the filter cage, you're gonna remove the zip ties that are tying the ply board to the top, like so. And also, you may have to loosen the metal bars to get it off. From there, you're gonna remove the white metal protectant bar going along the unit right here. able to see our control switches and backwash handles. Once you've removed all these things, then you can start to take all of the items out of the filter cage. Starting with removing the chlorinator ring. And you'll see there's handles in the top of it. So if you pull those out, there should be three of them. One of them's already on the system. And then um, replace the coordinator top and make sure it's screwed on really tight because you don't want that to blow up. Here, I'll hold these. Okay. Next, you're gonna take the orange plastic handles that you removed from the chlorinator top, and you'll notice that each of them, on the op opposite side of them, they have different cuts that correspond with the holes inside here. Number one will go on the first top right here with the flow. Number two will be for the chlorinator. And number three is to control which flow valve. Next, you're gonna open the small cardboard box that's inside of the unit. And inside, you should be able to rip it open. Inside, you'll find two bags with your hose clamps, your pipe fittings, but also two gold um, filter tops. These are very important. Make sure that you take those two out. And you'll place them on the two filter tops that have tape over them. Remove the tape. and twist the filter tops on. Once you've installed the filter tops on the top of the two filters, then remove everything else from the filter cage. Like your alum jug and the extra pipes. There should be four tubes in the treatment system that have brown tape on them. You'll pull all of these out and that will be your backwash tubes. Next, you're gonna place the tap stand next to the treatment system. 
Usually it'll be standing in a half tank of water, but for purposes of this demonstration, it'll just be on the ground. And then you're gonna take your tube that's in the treatment system that has the silver tape on it, and that will connect to the output on the treatment system. Make sure you put the hose clamp on before you put it on the spout. And place it on there firmly using a nut driver to screw in the hose clamp. Then you'll take the other end with another hose clamp and you connect it to the top stand. All right, once you've taken the pump out, you'll put it in the half tank with the top stand and then you'll run this hose. right here to the input. Don't forget your hose clamp. All right, then you're gonna lift the water cage and place it on top of your filter cage. Typically this can easily be done with two to three people, but we're in Charleston in the middle of July and it's pretty hot, so we're just gonna make sure you do it for us. It should nest pretty easily right on top of the cage. Next, you're gonna take this gray piece that was in your unit and screw it onto the spout once you've had the water cage put on the top and it should turn one more time. Yeah. And then you're gonna take this piece. Nope, it'll go down, down on the bottom. Make sure you remove any tape from the gasket. And then you'll place the tall piece on the top. You're gonna get this Allen jug in the LWTS unit. You'll unscrew it and inside will be all of the things that you need to attach it to this water tank right here. So you'll take a white rack that you find in the unit as well, and you'll attach it other, other way with the rack sticking up like this. And you'll use the hose clamps on either side of here to attach it to the metal bars. So you're gonna take the chain, wrap it around the bar, use the S hook to connect them together, just like this. And 
then bring the chain down and connect it around the wire. to be too sturdy for exhibition, but just enough so that we can put the plastic jug on top. Place the Allen jug right inside, and the tube connected to the top will run down and connect to this alum water flow meter. A key tip to the demo unit is to make sure that whatever hose you're using, that the spout points to the right one. So if this one doesn't have the tube connected to it, you can connect the tube to either, to either one. But if it's running to the top one, you'll want to make sure that this is turned to the top. And if it's connected to the bottom, likewise, down to the bottom. All right, there's your training session tutorial for today. And don't forget that we have a water treatment system manual that you can use that has all the photos and illustrations for you to put it together yourself. But if you have any questions, feel free to call our headquarters and we are happy to answer any questions that you have. Good luck!